I'm gay and I dislike Pride Month. That is the video we're going to be watching and reacting to today. It just dropped. Literally this afternoon, it just dropped. Now, this is from an account called Finding Sky. And I reacted to almost the same exact video because she made a video last year during Pride Month called I'm Gay and I Dislike the LGBT Community. It's, it's literally almost the same length as this video. I'm pretty sure it's including the same content as this video. So you don't have to even go back and watch that one. But that video got 2.3 million views for our channel. So it's no surprise to me, knowing what I know about the, the person that made this video and the content they've made, that they want to get more views and more internet clout off of hating the community they're a part of. I mean, it's, it's very clear to me. It also makes me really sad. Let me tell you why before we watch this video. I'm not going to go on and on about this. But as someone who's older in the gay community, almost 50 years old, someone who's older, who actually fought for a lot of the rights that we have now, the equality we have now, which this person diminishes and pushes aside through things like pride events, demonstrations, activism, a lot of the stuff that we have now that I took part in, that I fought with, side by side with other gay people who are no longer with us, sometimes due to violence and things like that. Um, to watch someone throw all of that away takes an amount of privilege or negligence that I cannot rationalize. I cannot rationalize it. So we're going to watch this video and I'm pretty sure that a lot of the same talking points from 2023's video are here in this 2024 video and I'm going to dismantle all of it. If, if, if they're the same talking points, they're going to be really easy to dismantle and, um, yeah, let's just go ahead. Let's let's get into this. Let's get into this video and see what's what's being said here. Pride Month came in harder than Miley Cyrus on a wrecking ball. Came in like a wreck. I've been out the closet for as long as I've been out the womb, and I still have yet to go to a pride parade. I feel like the so there we go. That's the other thing. She she said that in the last video she did. If you if you don't go to these things, then that means you are getting information from the propaganda machine, and then you're regurgitating it. So right away, your expertise in this particular uh, field of activism and events related to gay people uh, is gone. It's out the window. So everything from this point on is you talking about things that you have either read or seen on the internet because you don't go to pride events. So when people are going to most definitely take your video and use it as propaganda against gay people, they're doing so by using a representative of the gay community who is ignorant to the events they're talking about. But none of that matters because you're just going to be using their talking points. Just realize that from this point forward. The only reason I would go would be to pick up some baddies, but judging by the videos I've seen on that video or that picture is fake. That is a fake photoshopped picture. It has been debunked from a long time ago. Um, so using that again tells me that you're pulling information from uh, like extreme right wing propaganda sources line pride's not where the baddies go during pride month. There's this widespread encouragement to be proud of something that you simply didn't choose to be. I mean, so you're admitting that you didn't choose to be, or maybe you're going to refute that here in a second. Either way, the idea that pride in reference to pride month is the same exact thing as being proud of something that you've accomplished is completely ignorant. We've already debunked this. Pride simply is the opposite of being ashamed of something. And that is what you're doing. You're fighting back against the stigma and the shame of being someone who is queer. That's the whole point. And we keep trying to tell you guys this, but you keep going back to the reductive thing where you're like, pride means being proud of something you've accomplished. No, it does not mean that. It is the opposite of shame in this regard. That is how it's being used. It's how it's always been used. And you just keep going back to it, which is propaganda fuel. Being told to be proud that I'm gay feels the same as being told to be proud that I have brown hair and two hands. I mean, I... Well, that's because obviously you're talking from the place of someone who has never experienced um, any sort of circumstances where you have been treated differently for being gay at a level that has affected you beyond just normal social interactions. And so you don't see it as being, you see it as being the same thing because you don't see one as being different than the other. I can guarantee you that you're not discriminated against in day-to-day -day life because of the color of your hair. But uh, yeah, you're not discriminated against day-to-day -day life for a natural color of your hair versus being a gay person, which you would definitely be discriminated against in other countries. And we'll talk about that as we go through this video. I didn't really choose these things. I just popped out the pussy portal like this and I'm forced to exist with it now. If you're anything like me, it feels a little strange to be casually scrolling through your IG feed to suddenly see a rainbow assortment of posts praising an aspect of yourself that you really don't even pay much attention to. And then you get the- Right, 2.3 million views. You got 2.3 million views on your last video about this. And you're doing it because you know 
that it's getting attention for talking about being gay. You're just not, you're one of the good ones. You're different. She's different. So you are contributing to the thing that you are complaining about, which is seeing uh, gay stuff everywhere. You're, you're doing, you're doing it right now. So those thoughts in the back of your head, like, oh, but shouldn't I be happy that these people are supporting me? I mean, hey, there's a whole month dedicated to celebrating an aspect of myself that was once unacceptable. So this is a good thing, right? These surface level thoughts try to convince you to be happy about it, but something. And how did we get to the point where it was accepted? Well, first of all, it's not totally accepted. Let's get that out of the way. But more accepted. How did we get to the point that it was more accepted? Let's think about that rationally for a second, because that's what you're doing here. You're throwing in quips while you're giving a rational take. Um, how did it become more accepted to be gay? Was it from hiding and not talking about it? Or was it from activism where you're going out and you're being visible and present in the world? Which, which one of those things did you think made it more acceptable? I'm just curious because it didn't just happen organically, uh, because bigotry and, and oppression, uh, there is no organic solution to that. You have to have some sort of activism. We also need to get away from this idea that activism is inherently a bad thing. It's not. Activism is actually very good. It can be manipulated and used for things that are insidious, but not every single organization, not every single activism uh, event that happens out there has something going on behind the scenes. Uh, that's something that you have been, that's propaganda, by the way. The idea that that that, prop, that uh, activism is inherently evil, it means that you you have taken in propaganda. And, and you have, they've officially got you. Internally still just not sitting well. See, if you keep making these special months and these special parades, then it makes gayness special. And I know I can't speak for everyone, but I don't want to be treated like I'm special, especially not for something as trivial as my sexuality. I yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it, you're, you're speaking like there's this utopian idea of like, if we just stop doing these things, somehow we won't be treated differently. And that's just completely false. Historically, before pride was ever a thing if we look back prior to pride happening gay people were mistreated throughout history it's just it's just the way it is um you will be treated differently you will be pulled out from the side and treated special or differently uh because of that and you act like these pride parades and these events are somehow making you the different person or making you special from the rest of the world. And I'm just here to tell you that's absolutely not true. You would be whether the pride parades or any of these pride events existed. I have no desire to be treated like I'm different when I feel perfectly normal. Some people might think that the, but you are normal. That's the thing. I will agree with you on that. Every person on this planet, whether you're gay, straight, trans, cis, whatever you are normal and you are a human being. Um, just, those things don't make you abnormal, but the fact that you see other gay people participating in pride as an abnormality is part of the problem. That's part of the issue. Pride parades encourage people to be more accepting of the community, but to be honest, I disagree. The only way you're going to reach normalcy is when you stop constantly highlighting the fact that you're different. I can. No, that's not the citation on that. Do you have a study? Do you have do you have some sort of like study that's been done that shows that that is the case? Because you're saying that and you're not providing anything. You're, you're literally just not providing any proof of that. Uh, it's actually, if you if you were to look, let's, okay, I'm going to do what you're doing. We're not going to look at any numbers. But let's just look historically. Has more progress for the gay community happened? Have things happened that have been better for the gay community over the last 40 years versus the last 200 years? Let's think about that for a second. And if you look back, Guess what? More progress has been made in the last 40 years when activism and events have been more visible with gay people. So if you just look at it without any actual numbers and you just spitball it uh, and you look at it from the perspective that you're doing, which is just throwing things out there, you'll see that it just doesn't add up. It, it doesn't even make sense if you're not looking at specific studies. I can feel this awkward distance between myself and an acquaintance when they find out I'm gay. There's this subtle pause where I can tell they feel some amount of social pressure to say something supportive so that they don't seem homophobic. There's this weird pressure put on straight people that if they're not openly supportive. Or oh, yeah. Think of the straight people. Let's let's think of the straight people. OK, this is really weird. So you are saying that there's something wrong if a straight person feels compelled to be supportive of someone who is marginalized and that that is a weird thing that it's weird 
that the person should feel compelled to treat someone with respect because they know that they're gay. Would, is, is the opposite of that okay? Like if I tell someone that I'm gay that I should just expect them to be to be mean to me, that that's all right? Um, there shouldn't be anything weird about expecting someone to respect you once they find out that you're gay. And you might say, oh, well, they feel like they have to say something supportive or whatever. Well, I certainly hope they wouldn't say something negative. <laughs> like what are the pressure, the pressure of living as a gay person in certain communities? And let's be clear here. There's parts of the country where coming out as gay is not good. It's not good for you. So when we're talking about the, the pressures from that, where you come out as a, as a uh, gay person to people you care about or people, you know, you want them to be supportive. You want them to say things to you that are going to help you through this process. So <laughs> having this idea that I should think about the straight person, oh my gosh, what if what kind of pressure do they have on them as a straight person to be supportive of me for, from telling them like a secret about myself that could literally cause me to be ostracized, that could literally cause me pain and harm in my life. I should think about them. That's really fucking weird or actively participating, then they're somehow not an ally. When in actuality, most people- Not everybody has to be an ally. Um, I don't consider allyship to be someone who is supportive. Uh, someone simply accepting you as a gay person and not treating you like shit doesn't necessarily mean they're an ally or that I expect them to do those things. I don't expect people that I meet day to day who find out that I'm gay to all of a sudden start going out to pride events and like wearing love is love shirts. I just don't. That's an, that's that's an unreasonable expectation. And this is like again, when you're feeding into the monster that is like the extreme bigoted portion of the right community, when you're feeding into that, this is the kind of absurdity that they want to hear because this helps them. I, I know you think, or at least I believe you think you're speaking to the center, to the rational people, but you are not. People on the left obviously are not going to listen to this. People in the center, the rational people, the people who are already doing their own research and already looking things up, they don't need this either. This is going to become a hit piece of propaganda that extreme bigoted people will use while framing it as you being an expert on the gay community because you're a gay person and they will use it for propaganda. So it will be utilized by them in that type of way, whereas people in the center and people on the left obviously are not going to use it. So you're not speaking to rational people when you do these kinds of videos. You are literally providing fuel for all of the hateful, bigoted people online that make up a small bit of that community, but are very loud and nasty and vocal. People just don't care. They don't care that you're gay. It makes no difference to them. Your sexuality is completely irrelevant in their mind, which is exactly how it should be. You really well, then why do you care? If people don't care that people are gay, then they could just ignore all of the pride stuff. They could just ignore it. It's that simple. If you want to take it to another place, I don't care that people like football. I know football is everywhere. There's merchandise out year round about football. It's on TV for a big chunk of the year. There are people that love it. They go out and participate in it. There's people in my life that love football. I don't like football. And guess what? I don't care about all that football shit going on. I don't have to because I just don't have to be involved in it. So if you truly don't care about pride stuff for one month a year, you can just be like, I'm just not going to be involved in it. I'm just not going to do it. If we have to do it for everything else, including Christian holidays, uh, sports events, things like that, you're acting as if like it's going to be the end of the world that gay people have 20 some days a year where they're recognized around the world for being marginalized and being oppressed in a lot of places. And again, we'll get to that in a second. Really want to be treated any differently on the basis of who you want to hump. I just find it strange to see people wearing. That's more absurd rhetoric. Uh, when it break it down to just like sexual stuff, um, you're diminishing all the other aspects of the queer community because that's the absurdity that the bigoted right loves to use the myopic reductive view of it their sexuality like it's some badge of honor like maybe we should reconsider giving relevance to this really irrelevant detail about us i mean i'd like to say so irrelevant 2.3 million views on your last video so you copy and pasted this year so irrelevant right nobody cares about any of that okay hey there's more depth in my character than my love for big booty latinas i understand that in many ways the lgbt community is still pushing to be more accepted but i guess the part i don't understand is why you need that acceptance anyway because, okay, here's the part where we talk about the uh, the serious stuff, really. Um, there's 60 plus countries in the world with laws that make it illegal to be queer. 
sometimes more pushing towards the gay community, sometimes more towards the trans community, sometimes towards non-binary people, just queer people in general, over 60 countries in the world where it is illegal to be those things. I'm not talking about pride events and demonstrations. It is simply illegal to be those things. And in over a dozen of those countries, you can be unalived for it. That is why pride exists in countries like ours, the United States of America, and other countries in the world where there is more acceptance because we are shining a beacon to people in countries who have to hide who they are because they are not accepted. I've said this many times in many videos, and I, I'm starting to believe that a lot of the people that make this content know that and they just don't care. But we are doing this not just for people here in the United States who might have some issues in their states they live in, in the areas they live in. We are doing this for people around the world so that they will know that there are places that will love and accept them for who they are. That's what it's about. It's not about all this other dumb shit that you're talking about, because again, this is what the extreme bigoted part of the community wants to use against gay people. And you are feeding into the absurdity with that. That is why we want the acceptance. It's not about like these reductive myopic takes that you have. Legally, you can get married to who you want now. So in this country, in this country, and they're trying to take that away in some places, uh, but not everywhere in the world. Pride is not just the United States of America. What are you pushing for? After enough time and effort, a push starts to feel like a shove. And that's the point I feel like we pass. Yeah, it should be shoved. And, and let me tell you why. It should be shoved because there are countries where you can be put to, you can be unalived for being gay. So yes, there should be a shove. At the very least, gay people should be able to live their lives anywhere in the world without being unalived. I don't think that's an unreasonable expectation. And that definitely deserves a shove passed a long time ago where we're not just raising awareness and support but trying to force others to agree with it that's when you no that see that's another extreme talking point you don't have to agree with anything that i do in my life you don't have to agree that i paint pictures for a living you don't have to agree that i like hip-hop music house music you don't have to agree that i wear this type of clothing you don't have to agree about who i marry who i love you don't have to agree on any of that however i should have the same legal rights as you and at the very least i should be allowed to exist which is what pride is about again echoing what i just said a second ago really start to see some pushback and the progress you were making for the community actually starts to regress. I mean, overall, I feel like- Thank you for explaining how politics work in most of the world. It's called a rubber band effect and it happens. Uh, things, there's a lot of progress for a while and then you lose a little bit of ground and you get it back again. You have to do that because of bigoted, hateful, oppressive people who do not like the change of the status quo. It's just the way it is. Straight people have been pretty nice to us. Sure, I got called a faggot. All right, uh, I wanted to beep that out because I, I think YouTube might hit me for that, but we'll uh, we'll see. Let me let me mute this here. We can read it on the screen. There we go. Um, yeah, you got called names, but there's other countries where people can be unalived. I'm gonna say in regard to that, I, I've actually seen friends of mine be beat up and put in the hospital. So yeah, it sucks that you were called names. And the fact that you were saying, oh, well, I was called names, but haven't don't we have enough? Don't we have enough? Um, it's, it's really tone deaf. Now, but for every person who called me a slur, there were thousands that voted in support of gay marriage. A lot. We fought for gay marriage. We fought for that. That was an activism thing. I was there when we fought for it federally. I was there when we fought for it in my state. I was able to finally have a ceremony with my husband who uh, was part of a church and wanted to do it in the church. I was finally able to have that ceremony with him because of all the fighting we did to get that. It wasn't handed to us. It wasn't given to us. It was from the support of the allies that you just talked about and our community fighting for that. It wasn't just given to us on a silver platter. And so the fact that you were like, oh, well, they're like there are people that voted for that. Yeah, yeah, there were, but it took a lot of work to get there. The people that feel that way didn't just change their mind on a dime. A lot of the people that voted in support of gay marriage required a lot of the stuff that you're complaining about to happen so that they could see that gay people are not some evil boogie people that th these other bigots make us out to be. A lot of people have been tolerant of us, and I just think it's a good idea to return some of that tolerance. It's so How do you return that tolerance? Oh, I'm sorry. Is are, Am I oppressing you from existing? I'm sorry. I I wore, um, I have a rainbow sweatband. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not being tolerant. 
I'm not being tolerant of you. And uh, oh wait, wait, is that a you have a Bible over there? Oh, you got a Bible. Oh, oh, is that um is that a, a political party flag on your truck? Yeah. Well, that's that's intolerant of me because I don't believe the same things you believe. So could you could you please take that down for me? That's a ridiculous ask. You know it. It's a dumb take. But you're speaking to a very specific group of people here. Okay, if someone's not okay with you being gay, they have their own life, their own experiences, and their own freedom to believe whatever they want. Right, and no one's arguing against that. No one's arguing against that. That's not what Pride's about. It's pretty unreal how the LGBT community is known for being an inclusive and accepting group, yet they're extremely excluding of anyone who doesn't fully align with 100. Fully, that's a really charged word there. Uh, this is the this is a fallacy argument. I cannot accept or tolerate someone that does not want me to exist. Those are two completely opposite viewpoints that do not align with each other. They have the option and the control because they're part of a much larger group to make my existence go away. There's no way for me to agree to tolerate that viewpoint. That is a, that's a fallacy argument. Percent of their values. They're so inclusive that if you're not inclusive, they exclude you. Get it? If we're going to preach open-mindedness, then let's actually be open-minded. That means being open to people who completely disagree with your worldview. Someone who doesn't want to associate with gay people has the freedom to not associate with gay people. That already exists. That's already something that we can do. You don't have to. Just like I don't have to associate with people that love football. Um, that is totally within your power as an individual if we're talking about the United States of America. You can just not associate with gay people. However, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about opposing viewpoints, which you just stated here, where they don't agree with gay people. These are the same people that try to say that gay people are a threat to children, that gay people are a threat with indoctrination and taking over all of these things and X, Y, Z. You, there's no way to agree with that fully the way that they want it to be, because that would mean my existence would poof, go away. It would, it would, I would be nowhere. You wouldn't see me in TV shows. You wouldn't hear me on the radio. You wouldn't see me in the streets. You wouldn't see me holding hands with my partner. You, none of that would happen because that is what they want. You cannot agree with that. That is a very, it's just a dumb take. Real open-mindedness means being tolerant to opinions that don't align with your own. There are people who will never relate to your perspective and they don't have to. As crazy. Well, that would mean, so you're arguing, see, this is, this is another thing that I think gets into the the brain rot of, of the people that say this. I don't expect you to be gay. I don't expect you to be trans. I don't expect you to be bi or queer or whatever. I don't expect any of those things. Th that would be an unreasonable expectation. I don't expect you to show up for pride. I don't expect you to come to drag shows. I don't expect any of those things. That is unreasonable and an unfair expectation. However, however, as a human being, I should be able to live my life and do what I want and participate in events that celebrate my community if I want to, because that doesn't affect you. Doesn't affect you. None of that affects you. You do not have to take a part. You don't have to be a part of any of that. So to say that somehow me living my life, celebrating my community, just like somebody would be celebrating in a football game or a book club or whatever the fuck they're doing, they're going out and doing these things, saying that those things are somehow infringing on somebody else's freedom of, of opinion, of expression, whatever, is just false. It is absolutely false. Crazy as it sounds, I think I could be friends with a homophobe. <laughs> I grew up never being accepted. I don't care. You could be friends with a homophobe. That explains, it, uh, explains a lot of it, actually. Um, you could never truly be friends with a homophobe. You would be their friend, but they would not be your friend. Because you're not talking about somebody who disagrees with going to gay events and stuff like that. A homophobe is a very specific kind of person who does not like gay people. So you would be sitting around being friends with somebody that does not consider you as an equal to them. And that tells me everything I need to know about why you make these videos. If you don't like who I am, I'm open to hearing your perspective, even if it's not one that I personally subscribe to. I'm never going to try to force you to adopt my point of view. That's a trivial battle. I have zero interest in fighting. And I'm Well, you don't have to. Again, you don't, they don't have to become gay. That would be adopting your point of view. Your point of view in, in this regard would be expecting them to become a gay person. That's it. And no, I don't think, I, I don't, I truly don't believe that is the vast majority of people's goal. I just don't. I've never heard anybody say that. Honestly, adopting that kind of attitude is a hell of a lot more likely to warm somebody up to gayness than screaming at them that they're evil and homophobic. I personally feel like this... Well, no, no. You're you're saying that you should placate. You should placate to them. And I do not. I have a lot of straight people who do not necessarily agree with the things that 
the gay community does. They're not necessarily homophobes, but they don't agree with everything the gay community does. I, I know a lot of straight people like that. We have great conversations about it. Um, but I don't placate to them. I don't sit back and go, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be the gay guy. I'm not going to be the gay person here. I'm just going to be quiet, code switch, and and not engage as my true authentic self. I'm not going to do that, right? Uh, there are a lot of gay people that it would be impossible for them to blend in, impossible for them to code switch. Uh, you just happen to be in a very privileged position, just like a lot of gay people like myself, where a lot of times you just sort of blend into the people you're around because you're not in a community where you would stand out. You're not in a part of the world where you would stand out. And that is a bit of privilege. Um, and I don't have to placate to any of those people. I don't think they would want me to do that. So if you're hanging around people that want you to suppress who you are as a person in order to accept you, that's a really fucked up position to be in. Ideology of constantly needing acceptance is just a juvenile expectation overall. There's always going to be people who don't like you and don't accept you. That's just an no. We're, you're, you're, so you're talking about individual acceptance. You're talking about like one-on-one -on -one acceptance. You're absolutely right. There's always going to be people that feel that way, but that's not what pride is about. Pride is not about your neighbor uh, who doesn't like gay people all of a sudden coming over and liking you. It's more about social change and political change so that you're not oppressed as an entire community. That's what it's about. So you just kind of shift it around, like your views shift. You, in one regard, you're talking about something reductive and myopic, and the next one is some sort of broad stroke. Just whatever your narrative uh, is on the situation. It's a normal part of life. As long as they're not gatekeeping opportunities from you or deliberately trying to harm you, then that lack of acceptance really shouldn't even bother you. I Which is exact. <laughs> Over 60 countries where it's illegal to be queer. Over a dozen where you can be unalive for being queer. That's what this all is all about. You're not even touching on that. You are viewing this through the lens of just the United States of America. But Pride Month, when the United States has Pride Month, um, it goes all over the world. It's everywhere. It's international. We are a beacon for the rest of the world when it comes to this stuff. So it's not just exclusive to the United States. I, I, again. I feel like the LGBT community is so quick to blame their inability to fit in or be liked on their sexuality. Like, oh, it's because I'm gay or it's because they're homophobic. When in reality, that's probably only the case a small percentage of the time. I'll citations. I need citations for that. If you're going to use that as a sticking point for your argument, you need to provide a citation for that. Where Where is the study done on that? Saying I feel or I think about it in regards to that is very, very, very irresponsible. I also find it kind of strange how the LGBT community is marketed these days. And I use the word marketed very intentionally here because it does feel like social propaganda that's trying to sell you something. LG right, it's called rainbow capitalism, pink capitalism. You should probably look it up. Um, it is something that the, the gay community has nothing to do with. It's the capitalistic nature of the United States of America and a lot of countries in the world that also thrive on capitalism, that um, they want to sell things to people during months and time of the year when it is popular to do it, just like Valentine's Day and Christmas and Halloween. Uh, when these things come around, the companies pick up the tools and get to work making as much merch as they can because they want to sell it to people. Uh, that's just capitalism. And if your issue with capitalism is the rainbow part of it, then uh, that's an issue. LGBT is presented as all sunshine and rainbows. Literally, the flag that represents the community is a rainbow. But it's no secret this community struggles severely. Mental health outcomes are trash. Our self-delete rates are ridiculously high. And don't even get me started on the involved, lengthy, tedious process of trying to have a kid with someone who's the same sex. So you're totally overlooking the studies that have been done that the mental health on queer people is affected by their environment. Like the oppression around them is the reason why they, ha they have mental health issues. You're, you're going to overlook that in an argument where you don't seem to understand why pride is important to be seen around the world. That's an, that's an interesting way to do this. There are many aspects of gayness that just suck. Like it's really romanticized on social media these days and I don't get it. Like why glamorize it? I got to spend thousands of dollars to extract my eggs, pay to keep them in a baby freezer, find a sperm donor. And then once it's all said and done, there's only like a 30% chance of success. So if it doesn't work, I got to pay for that process all over again. Right. It sounds like you're arguing about like a healthcare issue, which yeah, healthcare sucks. Any sort of medical procedures in a country where capitalism is rampant, like it is in the United States, it's going to suck to do things medically. And guess what would help change that? Maybe activism, 
possibly. I can't just nut in the bitch and then nine months later she poops out a baby. Like this shit's complicated. It's been a year since I released my last LGBT video about pride. And what's amazing is that two million people watched it, but it feels like nobody listened. People in the Because you were saying dumb shit, just like you are right now. You're saying dumb shit. Because people in the center and people on the left realize that you're saying a bunch of dumb shit. Just like I realized very early on, you're saying a bunch of dumb shit. You are narrowing in on the stuff that you want to treat a certain way and everything else is a big broad brush. You're not providing any source information, any sort of citations, any studies, any video clips, anything to support any of the stuff you're saying. Uh, because you're, you're like my videos, I'm gay and I dislike pride month. And then you go on to give a bunch of reasons on why you don't like gay people. You don't like how straight people are treated, all these other things. And you provide no sources or backup for any of these things. So yes, a lot of people did not listen to you in that video. Comments for calling me a traitor saying things like friendly fire will not be tolerated. But when did we ever declare a war? I don't want to fight you. You've built I don't think you're really a traitor. I mean, you could argue that you are. Um, I think you're a product of the system. I, I truly believe you are. You have realized a way to game the system and you're gaming the system and you are in an environment where you feel safe, you feel secure, you don't have to worry about being gay, you don't have to worry about money, you don't have to worry about any of these things. So you are literally able to make this kind of content and say these kinds of things without any repercussions in reality other than negative comments on social media. And so that comes from a place of privilege. So I don't necessarily know if you're a trader or you're just somebody gaming the system for uh, clout, internet clout, maybe money, maybe, I don't know. Well, your entire identity on something as trivial as who you want to sleep with. And as far as I'm aware, you didn't make that decision and neither did I. I'm right, and your video is titled, I'm gay, I'm gay, and I dislike Pride Month. Your last video was, I'm gay, and I dislike the LGBT community. You let in with your sexuality in order to get views on your videos. I'm not firing shots. I'm telling you it's dumb to have your guns out in the first place. You think there's way more people who care about this than there actually are. Nobody cares about who you're trying to hump except for whoever's trying to get humped. <laughs> People were wanting me to make more LGBT related videos, but I didn't want to because continuously bringing it up just gives this trivial thing way more importance than it deserves. The best thing this community can do right now is to be quiet. That is bad advice. Bad advice. I think that's where we're going to end this. Um, absolutely bad advice. No, don't be quiet. Don't be quiet. Never compromise who you are as a person because someone else might want to oppress you. Never do that. That is bad advice, bad advice. Um, these kinds of videos don't serve any good purpose. And let me explain why. They definitely don't serve people who are more progressive on the left, liberal, uh, allies, any of these things. They don't They don't serve any of that. They, they This video does absolutely nothing in that space. Um, I was talking about the center, the rational center, where people are willing to listen and move from side to side, not the extreme sides. It uh, does nothing for them either because they realize early on that you're just saying a bunch of dumb shit and the pictures you used were fake. You're not providing any citations. You're not providing any source information. So they're going to tune out immediately because they're going to say, well, this person is just spouting off garbage uh, because they're rational. They're, they're going to know better. And then you're going to have the people on the extreme right side, the, the far right, who are bigoted. They're going to go, hey, this person is gay and they're talking shit about gay people. This is the kind of stuff we need to legitimize what we're doing to gay people. So you will inadvertently, maybe, possibly, become a mouthpiece for propaganda of people who don't like gay people. That is all this kind of video will service. And that's why I said you're, you're either doing it for clout, you're doing it because you feel safe, you don't have to worry about being harmed or hurt by any of this. For whatever reason you're doing it, the material harm is going to be the same. There are going to be people that are going to be affected by this video negatively. Nothing positive, and I mean this, nothing positive will come out of a video like this.